Hello, YouTube, and welcome back into some Let's Play Civ 6. We're doing doing all right for turn 98. Obviously, there's a big uh, time sink and uh, effort sink into getting this Machu Picchu, but that's okay. It's uh, it, it's so fun to have that wonder that I'm into it. Um, and we've got the mountain ranges to make it all work. So we at least want to settle one more city. I was just talking to chat about whether or not we're going to get like a coastal city to get boats and era score or stuff. Or if we do want to like sandwich that city in there, uh, risk ticking off Teddy a little bit, but pick up two extra luxuries. Um, I don't know. Lots of interesting options. What's up, dude? How you doing? Uh, but the next big priority here is getting this Petra. I think I'm going to buy them a builder and then buy them some tiles. I'll probably leave the stone if I can. Uh, two chops there is probably fine. Uh, we also have pyramids going on already, which is great. Um, who? Where's my last? One, two, three, four. Oh, I just need to repair this. All right. It's 280. So I can buy a builder next turn. Probably buy it here, repair this, and then send it over the long way. And then we just kind of hope. We just checked for Petra. Nobody else is building on the map quite yet. So. I'm not getting that pasture. Not really getting any pastures. Guerian, thank you so much for the four months, dude. <laughs> I appreciate it. Wise to keep peace with your neighbors. <laughs> Blood feuds are paid at great expense. They are indeed. Thank you very, very much, my friend. Welcome on back for four months. Good to have you back in the shop. Much appreciated. Actually, I was going to upgrade this slinger, wasn't I? Oh, I was going to buy an archer. <sighs> I need too many things. This our whole our whole plan is like Petra here. So this becomes an incredibly important wonder for us to get. You like horses. Do you want to buy some? Mm, it's not. I mean, I'll do it, but I should actually sell her horses. She's almost dead. Oops. I don't trust you living 30 turns. <laughs> I really don't. And you're not in. Oh, because you're you'd be maxed. Um, you don't want them. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Do that. Yeah, I I will do a lump sum if we wind up trading with her. Just check out our options here. See what Canadia wants. So you I do trust. I, I almost prefer the lump sum now, though. I really need I need a, a chunk of gold. But that's that's interesting. Five gold per turn is a lot over time. And we might we might be interested in doing the overtime deal. Six. Because 6 times 30, 6 times 3 is 18, so it's 180. 180 total. So just 100? 110. So 70 less by taking it lump. I think I'd rather have the six per turn. It takes 20 turns to make up for this. It's a 27 gold per turn. Yeah, I'll do I'll just do the bigger deal, I think. And we'll keep trying to sell these. <laughs> I'm I don't math I don't math on stream well. <laughs> Do that. 
Don't math on stream. Safer to give it to Canada? Yeah, I'm not really worried about him. I haven't attacked anybody on my continent. All right, so next turn we buy. <laughs> no, no, there, there was, there was no humankind stream. There, there it's too, too early on that. Uh, Brizzy, don't get me wrong, I love math, dude. Um, it was just, it was, it was through Amplitude who is making humankind. We did get Machu. I'm happy about it. Let's go get recorded history. It's going to delay our trip to exploration a little bit. But it's such an important policy card. This is gone already. We get a governor title. It gives me time to repair this. All right. And then should we plan some other things as well? Um, so with Mexico City in the game... Extending our bonus, uh, our, our AOE regional effect by three extra tiles, we actually get to build like nine nine tiles out. What does what does this look like? Two, four, six, seven. Obviously, it'll hit the cap and here, and here, and here. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Wow, it even hits that. So one in one entertainment complex, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh god. Another reason why I regret moving this city over. It actually would have been hit by the regional effect there. One one entertainment complex covering all of your cities. Would have been so good. But I kind of like that. That's interesting. It's not really a... Um, we don't really have a uh, jungle-heavy city. Does Machu give you extra amenities for entertainment complexes? No. Just one. Just one centralized one. Uh, and then, then, then speaking of things that I usually like centralized, uh, industrial zones. How are we going to build those? Oh, that's true, too. Uh, golf courses. Golf cor Can they go on hills? Because the golf courses do get better if they're next to it. Cannot be placed on desert or desert hills. Hills. Yeah, it can go on hills. So actually, one, two, three, one, two, no. What if I built it down here? So that I can get three golf courses next to it? And we give up that city being in the uh, regional effect. You get one extra culture. Oh, and then you want it to be next to your city center, too. Uh, no, then I don't care about it. We'll just build them next to the city center. Uh, here we can do both. Okay. Not going to worry about it for the purposes of golf courses. Um, all right. Can buy you. Or no, next turn, next turn, next turn. I gotta think about districts more. I don't think we're gonna get bad ones. With Machu, we're just kind of covered. Are the markers a mod? No, they're in the base game now. They used to be a mod. Just tech through horseback riding. Next money, probably. Actually, next money is probably, yeah, probably an archer. Build, we're working both these. Mexico City picks up this tile. That's annoying. 
Oh well. Colossal heads we probably don't want in this game. Gotta get these builders. Oh. Alright, so there goes that city. So then our final city will be coastal somewhere. I don't know how that worked, dude. That was weird, wasn't it? And now... I don't know, man. Nah, I don't think settling this, uh, provoking him, like, I like the buffer between us. The idea of, of this was picking up two different amenities would have been nice. But now, now it's only picking up one, and so we might as well settle coastal and pick up the pearls. It's the same difference, and then we'll get extra era score here. Oh, yeah, it was the embassy. It was the embassy that he sent me. That That's what it was. It did It did feel weird to me. So there we grab feudalism. I will grab that first uh, because I, I want to build these builders. And all that we leave alone. Yeah, I want I want to explore that first. We've got a little while before the, the actual settler is done, so... All right, with Divine Spark, we should probably go right into a library here. Although I think four turns for a granary makes sense. Because they're not growing a lot. We could change that. I have terrible hair, Darsh. I don't, I don't know, buddy. I'm sorry. I think I want their theater square over here, just for the plus four. This is where, where we need a gold economy. Could also just throw their commercial hub next to it, which is funny. Um, capital can lock in there, plus five theater square. And you know what? Two turns to finish that makes sense, because we have the double farms. Do you guys hear that car alarm? <laughs> okay, it stopped. Okie dokie. In democracy, it's your <laughs> exactly, Mev. That's exactly it. Um, I think I'll take out colonization versus builder charges. Do I have a Carl alarm? <laughs> Carl alarm. I was enjoying him losing his units to it, but. All right, so that gets us to feudalism. I actually, I can't run this. I don't have the, the policy slots for uh, philosophy yet. So let's just go up to military training. What? <laughs> Thank you. Is that my... F we settled olives. We have tradables, so let's do it. And that that is a uh, that is a six charge free builder. Why not Classic Republic? Uh, we have bar we have barb issues that we've been dealing with. Uh, I just cleared one camp that was a real pain, and then I still have stum down here, so I want the extra combat strength for now. Um. Okay.
All right, I'm going to move you to Muscat for error score. All right, so we are getting our commercial hubs. Our commercial hubs, because of our golden age, are also giving us science. So that is worth five gold and five science per turn. Really need to get the granary and then we'll get the market because they need to keep growing. Infrastructure matters a lot. Oh, and trade, trade, gotta trade luxuries. Well, I'm not trading my luxuries. I thought it said I had two wine. Oh, it was probably from my suzerain that I just gave up. Usually I don't build granaries. I, I always build granaries. They're, they're very important to having a, si a city grow. I, 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 I'm, I, I always build granaries. Pretty early, probably earlier than I should sometimes. So that was three. Don't want them. Anytime, basically, the question, the the assessment. I when I go and pick something for the builder, uh, the build. Ooh, that's the money. Um, I I I always look at the housing. To see if if I can uh, if that city's growing. If they're not, uh, then they need a granary. No, I'm the opposite. I build I build granaries. I don't build water mills. All right, we got a promo on this guy. Sweet. Okay. Saltis, how you doing? Yeah, I'm a big fan of buying granaries in new cities as well. Skirmisher. Like I said, I think we're going to need another archer. I'm a little worried. I don't think I can die here. See, so like here, ask yourself, okay, can I lock in a district? Do I own the tile that I want to lock in a district on? Um, I mean, I don't own it, but I'd really like to get that uh, commercial hub. But I, I'm going to save my money because I'm going to need that archer. Uh, I could get another builder here. I think that's pretty reasonable, but they definitely need a granary, right? And three turns for that, no big deal. Um, and that'll let them get up to seven. Uh, seven housing is key because that's three districts in that city. <laughs> Sorry, Saltist. I can't. I can't. People will riot. I can't slow down. All right, so that's another luxury for us to sell. Um, who was the next best? Teddy, right? Three and three. Sold you to Wilfred. You don't want them at all. I guess the three and three is best. That sucks. We must have already traded them to you. Okay. Um, I guess that's fine. I'll take any all the money I can get right now. We're up to 45 gold per turn. Nice. Two gold per turn for open borders. And then let's go explore this.
This is where I actually do have to move. Let's do that. If it's natural to kill. Just gonna let this happen. Alright, there's the archer I need. I've got apprenticeship, so now I can start getting industrial zones. Yeah, they, they 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 could certainly grab tiles from us, and that would be that would be bad. But I can only do so much, right? I have a quarter of the viewership that Elspeth has today. She's sitting on eight hundred people. Remember that time she raided us with ten thousand, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, that's this not real." It was real. Do I want to find iron yet? I just want to go to ed edumacation. I'm going to leave all that as is. I have two warriors, a scout, and two archers. I would need three more units for this. Envoy... We're going to get Suzer in there. Okay. Probably leave all this then. We'll save this Envoy for the time being. Not that Faith per turn hurts, but it doesn't do that much for us. Again, don't trust that you're going to live, but curious to see what you'll pay. I mean, there's no sense in dying with money. You can't spend it in the afterlife, so. hey -oh. Okay, that I assume is going to be the best one. And then we're almost, we've traded olives to almost everybody, so we'll just do that. Builder policy swap. I think I, I'm, I'm. I think. What do we want with our policies? Fourteen turns. I could probably. Could actually, probably do it this way. And we'll, like, build a couple archers in cities that can. What's up, Eminem? Victory type, always science with Scotland. He's sort of a one-trick pony. So we take damage. Oh, nice. You silly biscuit. Get jabated. So let's look at our quests. We finished most of them. Train a spearman, engineer, and send trade route. Um. How many charges on this? Four. But we got it back. Eleanor is English and we have Catherine of France. So you'll probably pick up the tea. Oh, I, can 
Can I even do Spearman? All right, let's tech this, and then we'll do a Spearman. Hopefully our iron doesn't screw up anything. Two turns, I don't have to spend the money on that. Got a turn 170 culture victory is Christina on Emperor. Nice. Yeah, she's super good. I really like her. Is the pin next to the government plaza the Golden Gate Bridge? Why is that the Golden Gate Bridge? That was weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we are going to cause global warming, so. He's already building Chichen. What? What? What is the? What? Come on. Come, you dummy. Teddy, you dummy. There's iron. Hey, we have iron. How about it? Oh, no. That is super sad, Mephistopheles. I hadn't even heard that yet. How you doing, buddy? Other than bummed out now. Don't want to finish this builder at the moment. We'll see. Let's just get a couple of these easy techs. Awesome muffin. Have fun. That's 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 super cool. How you doing, buddy? Temple. So if I hate the game most due to past experiences, um. I mean, Alex is kind of a jerk. Probably Cleo, but I love Cle I love playing Cleo. All right, so we still have the policy going. Let's go ahead and get our spearmen for the envoy, and we're also trying to get the mercenaries, Eureka. So, so that's four, five, six. So we need two more. So we need this and one more. Yeah, that's true. Mapuchi's up there. <laughs> I want to hear the worst joke in the history of the universe. Hmm. Hmm. That's a tentative yes from me. Four turns is about right. You know what I could build here real quick? So we'll do four turns here. We'll finish this Spearman in three. That way I have a little extra presence over here in case Catherine comes and attacks. We could tech our Spearman and, or our uh, swords and stuff. <laughs> Why did the blind man fall in the well? I couldn't see that well. <laughs> nice, super cow. Very nice. Um, oops. Move here. Uh, 
So four of six. Look at the mine first. We'll have to delay that a little bit. Are you really? Are you are you blind? I'm sorry. It wasn't I don't think I don't think it was I don't think that was sometimes jokes can be really at the expense of someone. I, I hope that didn't feel like it was at your expense. Could listen. I, I, I said the joke out loud. <laughs> the four building block. Uh oh, okay. Um All right, we don't want to finish this. I want their granary because I'm going to harvest the cattle so that they can get their campus next. And I don't want to waste all the food. <laughs> okay. That's the road we get. I mean, I want this road, so that's fine. Yeah, it took Divine Spark. Now we have this settler problem. What do I do with you? What do I look for in a rare city? Hills. Hills in placement of rare. Yeah, it's a little bit awkward with this settler. I don't know what I'm doing with it. It might just be come down and settle this, but we could also try to high roll it and go for a St. Basil city. We could certainly use the culture. I think I'll probably be greedy per usual. Now we can get that. It's a one turn granary. Get that and then the library and then the theater square. Actually, probably the builders before the theater square. We'll see. <laughs> I love the brave little settlers. They're my favorite. No, Machu Picchu does not affect campuses. Damn, that's scary. We're about to get the scientist. I was delaying this a little bit for the uh, timing. No, she's uh, she's struggling over there. <laughs> she's struggling. Ah, 
I wonder if I just settle this. It gets me going on that top half of the tech tree, which I really need. It's not a very good city. Could settle it over here, I guess. It's probably better. You think you think I'll find a good coastal St. Basil by the barbs? But the barbs are so scary. I think I'm going to lose this warrior to this stupid skirmisher. My man. <laughs> it's your boy. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Um, they didn't take the tea. What did you take? I don't know. You guys really want to greet it? I'll move once here. Leaves me open to either still. Why are they not getting tiles? They must have already had them from our earlier suzerainship. That's what it is. Um, okay, so now our bonus resources act like luxuries. We should have ecstatic cities, which will affect our campuses and things. Now we need to get our industrial zones going. It's a little late in the game, but again, I don't I don't anticipate this being um, sub 200 at all with what we have. So And then we have a couple archers and a warrior here. God, Buenos Aires could probably take over the world. of education so this does two random texts from medieval or renaissance and one civic so medieval kill a unit with a spearman build an aqueduct adopt the policy actually hold on to you for a while don't need you I'm gonna go grants because Scotland things, done with you. Still can't switch it out of the barbs. I need the strength, I think. Although I guess my unit's dead. I think it's fine. Put discipline in there. And then builders. by that 70 some gold per turn that's pretty good oh <gasps> you lived what Oh, 
Oh my god. Yeah, I did, Red. Coliseum on, on Robert is fantastic. It's a bummer that we can't get it anymore. Two envoys. <clears throat> Probably good. Didn't really see much else. Hmm. Got two. Oh, he's got three. Actually, four. All right. I've seen worse. I've seen worse, actually, after flipping out about that earlier. Okay, um, Finish that builder. Okay. Now we're getting some builders. Now we're starting to accelerate things along. Finally starting to come together. Do I want to chop? I'd like to move Magnus up here and chop that whole city. I, I get to do that now, actually. I'm out of chops for him, so why don't we delay some of those pretty productive chops um, to get their, like, campus and things going. We'll start, we'll start, start in air. Hey, Jerezy. How you doing, buddy? Do that for the... Um The whatever, <laughs> for the whatever I was thinking about when I said those those words. <laughs> it's a weird day, you guys. It's a weird, weird day. Um. Okay. This will be their golf course eventually. It's a great game, Adarsh. Is this game to good good to play online with friends? Definitely, yeah, definitely good for that. I I, I think it's it's it, this game is probably best balanced for multiplayer and things, if you ask me. Oh, this was flatland. I saw the yield and assumed that this was a hill. This is actually flatland. That's okay. Didn't realize that. Would probably still have chopped it because. We have to put the cut in the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching over on YouTube, don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic. It comes at us in person on the internet. See you next time.